Okay, seventh grade, here are some examples on how to do inequalities. Um, on the first section, you're going to be deciding whether an inequality is true or false. So looking at the first example up here, 3 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Um, remember that if it's open this way like here, then that means greater than. The line underneath means or equal to. So 3 is greater than 2. It's not equal to, but this says or in here, so it's okay because it is the top thing. So this one is true. On the next one, negative 4 is greater than negative 3. And this one, if you think about the number line and you had 0 in the middle, and it goes negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then negative 4 would be down here, negative 4 is going to be further to the left right here than negative 3 is. So that means negative 4 is a smaller number. Since um, this shows greater than this symbol right here, this is actually a false statement. So we'd write false. Looking at the next one, is 6 less than or equal to 6? Six? 6 is not less than 6, but it is equal to. And so since we have or again in there, this is true because it is equal to 6. And on this last one, 10 is less than or equal to negative 3. 10 is a positive number, negative 3 is a negative number, so 10 can't be smaller than a negative number, and it's certainly not equal to a negative number because it's not the same, so this one is false. So remember that the ones where the, the small point is pointing to the left, like these, both of these, these are less than, okay? And the ones where it's open to the left, like these two, these are both greater than. So that's it. Let's look at the next page. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to graph x is greater than negative 2. So what we're wanting to do is show all the numbers, which is represented by the x, that are greater than negative 2. So not or equal to. I don't want you to confuse you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the number line, put 0 in the middle, and I'll go a few this direction, and then a few this direction. Okay. So you have to decide, do you use an open circle or a closed circle? And if it's just greater than or less than, like both of them on this page, it's open, and that's because it doesn't include that number. So I'm going to put an open circle on the negative 2 because I want to show everything greater than negative 2 but not negative 2, so I leave it open. And since it's greater than, I want to show all the numbers bigger, and all the numbers bigger go this direction. So remember, greater, if we're showing greater, then... We have an R, so right. <laughs> that might help you out a little bit. Looking at the next one, X is less than 4. Again, we're going to draw the number line. 0, and then I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Go to there. All right, now this time again, we're showing less than. So that means we're not doing or equal to. So we're going to have an open circle. It'll be at the 4, so we're going to show everything less than 4, but not 4. So we don't want to close it in. And since we're showing less than, and less than has an L, we need to go left, because all the numbers that are less than 4 will be this direction. Okay, so that's it on graphing those. Let's look at the next examples. X is less than or equal to 3. So again, we're going to draw the number line or it's negative 3, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and I'm going to erase this and extend this out a little bit. Negative 5, we'll go to there. <clears throat> okay, now this time it's less than or equal to negative 3. So it could be negative 3, so when we do our circle, we're going to fill it in to show that it could be that negative 3. But it's still less than because we've got the small side pointing to the x, so that means we want to show all the numbers less than, so we're going to go to the left. Less than left. Okay, so that's it. Now let's look at the next one. X is greater than or equal to negative six, or to 6. So we're going to do our number line. I'm going to put 0 down here since we're going up to 6. And I'll write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll go that far. All right, so what we want to do is we want to show greater than or equal to 6. So since it's or equal to, we're going to fill it in. And we want to show all the numbers bigger than 6. So that would be going this way, 7, 8, 9, and continuing up there. Greater than, right? So that's it. That's the graph of that. Let's look at the last couple of things you're going to be doing. 
you're going to be given a couple of graphs and then you have to write the inequality for it. I guess that's the last thing. Okay, so this time we first look at the symbol. and You're always going to start with X. I'm just going to write that down, X. And we're going to show what X is on this graph. The symbol is open, so we know it's not going to be or equal to. So it's going to be greater than or less than. Then we look at which way the arrow goes. It starts at negative 1, so I know that goes over here. And um, since it's going to the right, it's going this direction, that means if it's going to the right, it's showing all the numbers bigger than negative 1. So we're going to say that x is going to be greater than negative 1. And that is your answer. That's all you have to do. Looking at the next one, we're starting at 2. So I'm going to put a 2 on this side and an x over here. And it's, it's filled in, so that means it's going to be or equal to as well. So put that down. But it's going to the left, which means it's less. It's showing all the numbers less than 2 and or equal to since it's filled in. So I'm going to put A. Whoops, started to write the wrong one. I'm going to make a less than symbol to show it's pointing with a small point is on the left side. And that's the answer. Those are all the examples I'm going to do. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.